Yan Dargent. Jean Edouard Dargent, known as Yan Dargent, and in his later years Yan Dargent, was born in St. Servise on 15 October 1824 and died in Paris on 19 November 1899. He was a French painter and illustrator. Most of his paintings depicted Brittany. Biography Edouard Yann Dargent was born on the 15 October 1824 at St. Servise, situated between Landerneau and Landivisiau. His father, Claude Dargent, had come from Lorraine and was a tanner. His mother, Marguerite Perrine Clementine Roby, was the daughter of Pierre Roby. Claude had become the mayor at the time of the July monarchy. Yanni's mother died when he was only two years of age and his father soon remarried, and Dargent was put in the care of his maternal grandfather, Pierre Roby, a retired sailor. He was educated at Polarit at a school where his uncle Thomas, an ex Chuan, was schoolmaster. He received a basic education alongside Francois Marie Luzel, the Breton poet, who was also a good friend. He then attended the Landerneau St. Joseph College until, at the age of twelve, he moved to St. Paul de Leon's Notre Dame du Kriesger Institute. After his school days, he rejoined his father who had moved to Landerneau being unable to set up his tannery in Moore Lakes. When the time came to choose a career, Yann Dargent's grandfather wanted him to join the Navy, but Yanni did not feel the pull of the sea. He successfully passed his exams and was admitted to the government department administrating bridges and highways and then moved to the railways. In 1846, he was in Troyes as a works inspector for the construction of the railway when he met a professor called Jules Nicholas Schitz who recognized Dargent's aptitude for drawing and the two made trips into the countryside to sketch Dargent never attended an art college and was self-taught. In 1850, he resigned from his job with the railways and moved to Paris determined to make a living from art but independently and not attached to any particular studio slash workshop atelier and, alongside Gustave Dor, became known as an accomplished illustrator. His output as an illustrator over the years was prolific. Many of his illustrations appeared in La France Illustrie, as well as Le Tour du Monde Travel magazine edited by Edouard Charton and published by Hachette et Sai. La Chasse Illustri published by Fermin de Dot et Sci. The L'Exposition Universelle Illustri de 1867 published by Du Ewing and Le Corrigan, a Breton artistic journal in Paris. He worked tirelessly, and in 1851, and for the next ten years, exhibited every year at the Paris Salon. His 1851 works were Le Retour and Les Bainuses. Success finally came in 1861, when he exhibited four canvases, Les Lavendiers de la Nuit, Souvenir de College, Les Pillours de Murray and Patters des Plaines de Curlwan. Lavendiers de la Nuit was particularly singled out for praise, particularly by Theophile Gautier. This painting can be seen at the Musée des Beaux-Arts in Quimper. Although this did not lead to any further immediate success, Dargent, encouraged by his friend and rival Gustave Dor, applied himself to book illustration, which brought in a greater income than his paintings, and worked on illustrations for magazines such as Magasin Pitorsk, Musi des Famelles, La Vie à la Campagne, and La France Illustre. This time, he had a villa built near to St. Paul de Leon at Creek Andre, a spot where he had often walked whilst a schoolboy. On 3 July 1867, he married Eugenie Antoinette Stephanie Matthew, a musician and the daughter of the painter Eugene Matthew, a director of the La France Illustrie. Then, between 1869 and 1878, he was commissioned to contribute to the decoration of several churches in St. Servise, Landerneau Moor Lakes, Plaudelmezzo, and the Quimper Cathedral of St. Corentin. His work at the cathedral, which involved painting murals for all the lateral chapels, took him seven years. 
Other works include the canvas La Petite Roscovite, which hangs in the St. Paul de Leon Mary. In February 1877, he was made a Chevalier of the Legion of Honor. In 1898, when the Union Regional East Breton was established, he became the first president of the Breton Beaux Arts. Towards the end of his life, he had some financial problems, was supported by his son. He died on the 19 November 1899, seemingly from a pulmonary embolism, and is buried in St. Servais. See section on Dargent's tomb and the litigation which followed his burial. Dargent was devoted to Brittany, and his motto could well have been Beprid Brizad, always a Breton. Collections Ancient Calvaire de Kalinin, Pries Quimper. This oil on canvas painting is held by the Quimper Musi des Beaux Arts. Le Travail. This 1875 painting is held in the Quimper Musi des Beaux Arts. Le Retour des Champs, Le Bonheur aux Champs. This oil painting on canvas was executed before 1850. It was shown at the Paris Salon des Artistes Francais in 1850. It is held in the Rennes Musée des Beaux Arts. LQ de Elatang de Bezel in Saint Servais Finister. This oil on canvas painting is held in the Rennes Musée des Beaux Arts. It was executed in 1889 and shown at the Paris Salon in 1897. O Solo Couchant. This oil on canvas painting is held in Vitres Musée du Chateau. Le Dolmen de Saint Servais. This oil on canvas painting dates to around 1894, the year it was shown at the Paris Salon. The painting is held by the Troyes Musi d'Art d'Archaeology at De Sciences Naturelles. Ideal Passage avec du Personages. This oil on canvas painting was shown at the Paris Salon in 1864. It is held by Troyes Musi d'Art d'Archaeology at De Sciences Naturelles. Le Scorf, Brysux et Marie. This oil on canvas painting was executed in 1889. The painting is held in St. Briux Musée d'Art at De Histoire des Côtes d'Armor. It was exhibited at the 1889 Paris Salon. Les Vapours de la Nuit. This painting was shown at the Paris Salon of 1863 and can be seen in Quimper's Musée des Beaux Arts. It depicts the Anion or the souls of the dead in Breton legend. Paolo et Francesca. This oil on wood painting representing the La Divine Committee is located in Dijon's Musée National Magnum. Bretons. This oil painting can be seen in Dole's Musée des Beaux Arts. Troy's Mason's Rue Notre Dame. This work in graphite. Gray wash and white gouache is held in Troy's Musi d'Art d'Archaeology at De Sciences Naturelles. Portrait of Theophile Boutiet. This work in graphite and gouache dates to 1844 and is held in the Troy's Musi d'Art d'Archaeology at De Sciences Naturelles. La Falaise de Penher. This work in charcoal is held by the Brest Musi des Beaux Arts. Le Soir aux Greaves de Roscoff. This painting is held by the Brest Musi des Beaux Arts. Ellen Temperance. This painting is held by the Quimper Musi des Beaux Arts. Soir and Plan of Inter. This oil on wood painting is held by the Vans Musi des Beaux Arts. Some other paintings by Dargent. Au Bord de Lammer. This painting was shown at the 1852 Paris Salon. Les Denishures Dagels. This painting was shown at the 1853 Paris Salon. Payson's Bass Bretons. This painting was shown at the 1853 Paris Salon. Vernier's Rayons. This painting was shown at the 1855 Paris Salon. Boards de la Mer à la Kirch and Sovetage Gissini. These paintings were shown at the 1857 Paris Salon. Lug. Les Pillars de Muragissini. Patter des Plains de Curlwan, men here. Souvenir de College, Environs de Saint Paul de Leon. Un soir dans la Land. 
la famille du pétur, la vache recalcitrante, mort du dernier bard breton, souvenir d'enfants, shown in 1866, le menhir, this painting depicts the legend of the bard Gwenklin, ancient calvaire de Kalinin, pre's quimper, painted in 1893, la roche morris, Chris. Shown in 1868. Les Pins de Santec. Shown in 1873. Le Sentier Aux Ramiers Brezel. Saint Rock Dans La Solitude. Shown in 1874. Falaise Galleon. Conversion Extutique de Saint Corentin et de Saint Primal. Bords du Scorf au Sac. Shown in 1876. Falaise de Morgat. Ecclesiastical Works, Works in Moor Lakes. For this chapel, which was built in 1865 by the architect Edouard Puyo, Dargent painted frescoes in the choir and nave areas. Quimper Cathedral. It is in Quimper's Cathedral that one can see some of Dargent's greatest works. The cathedral's history goes back to 1424, and it was in 1887 that MGR. Sergeant decided to commission one artist to decorate the walls of the cathedral. He chose Dargent, who painted frescoes for the nine principal chapels completing twenty murals spread over these nine chapels, each having two paintings and two smaller chapels having just one painting. Of these paintings, the Le Rabissement de Saint Corentin, Le Martyr de Saint Frederick, Saint Rock Garrison Les Pestifers. La Vie Interieure de Saint Joseph et de la Saint Vierge and Saint Paul Prechant de Vant et Rapage are perhaps the most remarkable. The Saint Pierre Chapel contains paintings of two important events in Saint Peter's life Christ remettant les clefs to son Edliza Saint Pierre in presence des otters apotters Christ handing the keys of his church Saint Peter in the presence of other apostles and the Le Renaiment de Saint Pierre in which Saint Peter is depicted sitting in both reflective and repentant mood after his denial of Jesus. In the Saint Frederick Chapel, one painting depicts Frederick of Utrecht remonstrating with King Louis the Pious and the second his assassination. Dying on the steps of the altar, Frederick prays for his two executioners. See Frederick of Utrecht. Two paintings decorate the St. Rock Chapel. One shows St. Rock at the door of his hermitage, thanking God for the food brought to him each day by his dog. In the second painting, St. Rock is depicted in Piacenza, praying on the steps of a church for those struck down by the plague. The chapel of St. Corentin has one painting depicting St. Corentin and his disciple St. Primal at the hermitage at Nevit and the second, the towers of the cathedral can be seen in the background. Moving to the chapels at the sides of the nave, the chapel of the Nativity of Our Lord, the Chapel de la Nativite de Notre Seigneur, has a painting depicting the newly born Jesus with Mary and Joseph, whilst in the second painting, Dargent depicts the adoration of the Magi. The chapel of Saint and has paintings depicting the education of the Blessed Virgin and Saint and visiting the Holy Family in Bethlehem. The two paintings of the chapel of Saint Joseph depict the flight into Egypt and the death of Saint Joseph. The chapel of Saint John the Baptist has one painting depicting the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ, whilst the second depicts John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness. In the chapel of Saint Paul, the first painting depicts a scene of the road to Damascus. St. Paul is thrown from his horse when Christ suddenly appears to him asking Saul. The second painting shows Paul preaching in Athens. In the final two smaller chapels, the chapel of Father Monwar has a painting depicting Father Monwar receiving the gift of the Breton language so that he can carry out evangelical work in Brittany. Finally, in the chapel of Michael, the missionary Mitchell Lenobletz is depicted holding a skull in his hands. He is preaching to a crowd of Bretons who, from their costumes, are from Quimper. These, then, are the paintings commissioned in 1887 by Monsignor Sargent shortly before his death.
When Dargent was awarded the Cross of the Legion of Honor, it was reckoned that the paintings at the Quimper Cathedral were a major reason for this award. Dargent's work in the enclosed parochial of St. Servise. The following paintings can be seen in the church itself. The Christ and Majest. This oil on canvas can be seen in the church's choir area. La Virge au Risser. This painting is in the chapel on the epistle side of the altar. Le Baptine du Jourdain. This painting can be seen by the baptismal fonts. In the two large stained glass windows by the altar are depictions by Dargent of the Apostles and the Evangelists. Saint Francois Xavier Prechant Le Tiers Mond. Located in the church's Oil de Boeuf. The following paintings can be seen in the enclosed parochial's ossuary. Last Saint Famille a Nazareth. An oil on canvas. Ex homo. La prior et la charite so legent la pain des trepasses. A mural painting. All the above works were restored in 1991. In 1992, the collection of Dargent paintings to be seen in the enclosed parochial was enriched by the large painting depicting an episode in the life of Salon or Fall. This painting was found neglected in the ossuary and restored and placed in the church. Also four paintings commissioned from Dargent by a Benedictine monastery have been purchased by the museum and placed in the church. The four oils depicted St. Benedict and St. Scholastica, the Assumption, and Ex Homo, the Holy Women at the Foot of the Cross. His work at Plau de Mezzo, the Church of St. Pierre at St. Vincent Ferrier, rebuilt in 1857 and consecrated in 1859, has two paintings by Dargent. One depicts the descent from the cross descent de Coin and is located in the Sacred Heart Chapel. The second depicts the deliverance of a soul from purgatory deliverance du name du purgatoire and is to be seen in the Chapel of the Dead. Eglise des Carmes, Brest. This church, built in 1718, was destroyed by bombing in 1944. It had contained a painting by Dargent depicting the death of St. Joseph Lamort de St. Joseph. The Eglise St. Huadin at Landerneau. Dargent showed the painting depicting St. Huadin at the Paris Salon of 1859, and it can now be seen in Landerneau's parish church. Le Musée-Yan Dargent. The museum is to be found in St. Servise itself, curated by Monsieur Berthou. It is dedicated to the artist, and by combining a visit to the museum with a visit to the enclosed parochial, one can fully appreciate Dargent's work. His tomb. Before his death, he had asked to be buried in St. Servise and that his skull be placed in the ossuary alongside the bones of his mother and grandparents, which was the practice at the time. This by law could only take place five years after burial and on 8 October 1907, with the permission of the bishops of Quimper and the Leon diocese to open up the tomb and remove the head. The process was started. However, the body was still in a good condition, and the abbot Givark had to cut the head off himself. This led to litigation by some members of the Dargent family, who accused Ernest and the bishop with violation of the Dargent grave. The trial lasted six months, and although on the 26th June the Moore Lakes Tribunal issued a verdict of not guilty, Ernest died four days later from the effects of the trauma the legal process had involved. The skull of Jan Dargent is kept in a zinc reliquary to the right of the ossuary's altar. Gallery. Some of the books illustrated by Dargent. Edgar Poe et ses oeuvres. Published in 1862. Illustrated by F. Lix and Jan Dargent. Histoire de la Révolution Francaise by Adolphe Thiers. Published by Editions Fern Juvet de Sai. 1878-1882. Christophe Colomb. Published by Editions Palmer. Dante. Published by Editions Garnier. Lourdes. Published by Editions Lasser. Contest des Frieres Jacobet Wilhelm Grimm. Published by Editions Garnier.
Nouveau Contest Blues, Edouard Lefebvre de la Boulay, published in 1868 by Editions Fern Juvet et Sci, Contest Danois de Hans Christian Andersen, translated by Ernest Gregoire and Louis Moland, edition of 1873 published by Garnier Frears. Uvo Contest Danois by Hans Christian Andersen, translated by Ernest Gregoire and Louis Moland. Edition of 1875, published by Garnier Frears. Les Soliers Rouge et Otters Contest by Hans Christian Andersen, translated by Ernest Gregoire and Louis Moland. Edition of 1880, published by Garnier Frears. Le Robinson Suisse, Le Nouveau Robinson Suisse. Published in 1866 by Editions Hetzel, 1866. Ella Space Celeste by Emmanuel Lies. Published by Editions Garnier. Histoire Fantastique du Celebre Pirate by Alfred Assalant. Editions Fern and Boyvin. La Revolution by Adolf Thiers. Editions Fern and Boyvin. By Des Saints by M.G.R. Paul Guerin. Editions Victor Palmy, 1887. La Vie des Fleurs et des Fruits by Eugene Noel. Levy Frears, Paris, 1859. Histoire Dunbutch. By Jean Henry Faber. Garnier Frears, 1867. Le Monde des Insects. By Samuel Henry Berthoud. Garnier, 1869. Les Hautes du Logies. By Samuel Henry Berthoud, Garnier. Elham de Puy's Sink Mill Ends. By Samuel Henry Berthoud, Garnier, 1876. Ellis Brick des Oiseaux, by Samuel Henry Berthoud, Alfred Mam, 1867. Chasses Dans et l'Amérique du Nord, by Benedict Henry Revoil, Alfred Mam, 1873. Yann Dargent's Illustration of the Divine Comedy. This was one of Dargent's best illustrations. Major Exhibitions. Yann Dargent. Exhibition running from September to October 1976, organized by the Bibliothèque Municipale de Brest. Yann Dargent. Exhibition staged in Landerneau from June to September 1989. Yann Dargent chez Louis saint Servise. Exhibition staged by the Musée Yann Dargent in saint Servise in the summer of 1991. Les Lavendiers de Nuit. Exhibition staged by the Musée Yann Dargent in the summer of 1993.